There is a balloon. Alright, 5,000 bells. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Priscilla. Welcome to another episode of Crossing and Chat. This is episode number 10. So we're in the evening. <laughs> And for today's episode, I just want to do some good old terraforming just because that's really all I can do at the moment. Um, I've done quite a bit of work since the last time we have talked, I believe. And so this is how it's looking at the moment. The farm itself is in half. It's not really done. I mean, the space is kind of reserved for it, but until I acquire more items, this is just how it's going to be for a while. I also moved my home here, and this is where it's gonna be for now, I suppose. I'm also wondering if I should move the villager home somewhere else. I'm kind of figuring it out. So I guess until I really get more items, to finish up the space. This is how it's looking at the moment. Up here, I have my fruit orchard. I'm only gonna have two trees per fruit. Like I said in my previous episode, I don't know if it's possible to get all of the fruit in game <laughs> without um, interacting with other players, but this is kind of how it's looking at the moment. I still have to terraform more into this other section. I was really hoping to maintain a lot of the original landscaping or the island, how it was, but it seems like those plans have gone out the window. Terraforming, you think you have planned things out and then it just goes out the door once you start actually placing things <laughs> um yeah i kind of had an initial idea how this was going to turn out initially after getting this far we would get into the more neighborhoody more city esque or theme of the island but i felt it was too harsh of a transition from the farm to the city, I guess. So, and I always wanted the lake element in on the island as well. So I'm trying my hand at that and I'm trying to figure out if it's big enough. <laughs> so it's like, does it look? And like all the different perspectives on how it should look as well. I don't want to extend the, the lake too far out. Because I kind of was thinking of having the city start right in front of the resident services, but it seems like it's going to go beyond that. So um, let's get into not Nook Miles, no island designer mode and start some construction. I think I'm going to do some grunt work and demolish a lot of the cliffs and building up um, this part of the second level, I guess, of the land. What is, what's going on here? Okay, those are just rocks. Um, yeah, so let's see, what should we do first? There is so much, many trees I need to collect. And that's one of the, I don't know if this is one of the harder questions to answer is whether you cut all of the trees down and then plant them or save them, eat all the fruit and just save all the trees. Cause I hate <laughs> waiting for them to grow even though I know they will, but I don't want to waste trees you already have, you know? So let's get rid of this third level because I don't know what's going to be on it. 
Like I said, I kind of wanted to try to keep as much of the original land or like how the land was originally and see if I could preserve it somehow. But after placing things down and getting a better idea of how much space I have, it's also really hard, hard to tell from the map how much space you have. Might as well just get rid of all of this. And it'll just be easier to terraform the lake below. What I was trying to figure out when terraforming around the lake is the distance from where you're standing when you first see the lake and um, and how much you see the trees in the distance. It's that play on perspective and yeah, it's <laughs> it's like running back and forth between two air like areas of the island to see if it looks exactly how you imagine it to be. So that's kind of one of the more challenging aspects of terraforming is having it look the way you want it um, and, the dis and figuring out the distance between all the different um, trees and items and things like that and making it look good from a distance. No. <laughs> so that's one of the challenges of terraforming. Good thing I did buy the Mario pipe so I actually haven't used that to terraform but I think that might come in handy from going from one spot to the other. As much as this takes up a lot of time I kind of find it satisfying <laughs> to tear everything down. So while I do this, I thought I would talk about something just random. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I do listen to some K-pop. I'm very excited for Tomorrow by Together's upcoming comeback. I'm not too familiar with actually the song that they're coming out with, but their teaser is looking really promising has this very sad boy emo pop punk kind of feel to it which I'm all for. I really want that genre to come back. The early 2000s, late 90s pop punk kind of genre. Um, growing up on that music is just so nostalgic to me so seeing Olivia Rodrigo come out with Good For You as a pop punk throwback was really exciting to uh, listen to, I should say, and watch. Um, so I've been listening to that a lot. Um, of course, Dreamcatcher, love their rock um, influences and that anime-esque kind of theme that they do. Um, and so yeah, Tomorrow by Together's upcoming track I'm super excited for and hopefully will bring me back to those pop punk vibes. I just really want that kind of music to come back, you know, listening to, of course, Avril Lavigne, Simple Plan, Evanescence, um, who else? Just all of those good, fun, My Chemical Romance. What else? There were so many good pop punk kind of just fun songs to listen to. Um, Green Day. Um, and probably they're not like like rock pop punk. All that good stuff is just so fun to listen to. So I'm hoping it kind of comes back soon and hopefully more even more mainstream artists start uh, doing that sound as well. So I don't know, I just... <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you listen to K-pop, what your favorite genres of music it are to listen to. Um, I know Animal Crossing has a lot of very ambient kind of music to listen to while playing. Okay, do I have fruit? Oh my gosh, I have so many cedar trees. 
What should I do with all these cedar trees? Okay. Oh man. Oh man. Because I don't think I'm gonna be planting all of the cedar trees here. Oh, it's too close. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go get my pipe, my Mario pipe, <laughs> and see if I can make this a little easier <laughs> to do, <laughs> going back and forth. And if you have like three Mario pipes, like how does that work? Cause I get being teleporting from one pipe to the other, but when you throw a third one in, does it like go in around? <laughs> Please let me know in the comments below if you have more than one Mario pipe, what you do with the third pipe or how the third pipe works. How does it fit into the teleportation? <laughs> oh, and one of my favorite DIY items was made available to me by one of my dreamies, B. Finally figured out how to pronounce her name. B is short for Beagle, so that's what I'll remember. But anyways, super excited to get this DIY. Totally forgot that it took six books, take six books to make it. Good thing I ordered all of those books. But yes, okay. So let's put the Mario pipe here and I will put the other pipe over here. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this will be easier. So, hmm. I'm trying to think if that's. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, out of habit. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back. I'm going to bring the shoreline a bit closer, and I'm going to put another layer of trees in front to see. Because you just get the tops of the trees from that distance. And I kind of want a little bit more. Also try to stagger the types of trees I'm using to get that quote unquote natural look. It's like, oh, it's so random. <laughs> okay, let's see if that's because I kind of want it to look like oh, okay. Uh, the perspective on this is really interesting. Um hmm. Hmm. I don't know if it should be closer. Ooh. Let's see. Let's play around and see like how close I can get it before it looks not great. And it's also kind of probably this time is not the best time to be viewing how it should look like because it's obviously will look different than the day, but I guess that's just how it goes. Oh. 
this. Oh my gosh. This might be too close now. any better um okay all right um hmm. that's kind of what i was thinking about like have it look like a little ish island from i don't know if it's too close now but i like it hmm. i do like it better And of course, after I upload this, I've completely changed it. Let's see what it looks like from here. That's not too bad. Hmm. Okay, let me add, I need a couple more of the regular cedar trees. And what sucks about having all the fruit trees is I don't know which one is a cedar tree and which one is a fruit tree. Oops. Oh no, what did I do? I was trying to check if I had any fruit as well. Maybe I should just grab one of these trees. <laughs> Also waiting for a leaf to show up to grab more what is it um bushes because i'm i would like some new bushes also i don't know what's going on but my the fencing at nook's um the nook miles has always it's been repeating the same fences fencing fences for like a week now, like the barbed wire fence or the zen fence. I don't know, I, I need the hedges. <laughs> it's like, where's the hedges? Hedge DIY, okay. Anywho. As far as the flower garden, I, I messed up. I planted another, what is it? Like a red mum, and I thought it was a windflower and I got confused, so I had to plant, replant it again. All right. Okay, awesome. I'll have to get a new album from KK Slider after this. But let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that more. I hope it's not too close. I kind of wanted, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I didn't want it too far that you could only see like the tips of the trees. Where are you, Balloon? Oh. Okay. 
not really the style I'm going for, but it's an additional <laughs> furniture item, which is good. Okay. Growing collection. Ah. So maybe I could get rid of these three back here. Okay. I guess I'll close this up. Also, do you rely on how your map looks like compared to what you're actually seeing on screen? Because I feel like I'm also affected by how it looks like on the map rather than just relying on what you see in person. Let's see. All right. So the shape is not too bad. I think I have to round it out on the far left corner there. It's kind of weird, weirdly shaped. I don't know how big lakes usually are, at least in Animal Crossing standards. I've seen like really, really huge ones, but I guess that also depends on the perspective, like the force perspective you're trying to achieve. If you're viewing something very far in the distance, obviously the lake you want would be really big. But I guess in my case, since you're only kind of seeing it from from where I am, I don't think it has to be too, too big. Okay. okay, I think I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to fix... See, it doesn't seem that big <laughs> when you go around, so it's not a super huge lake, but... Let's round this out. And I think from here, I don't know what I'm going to do beyond the lake. Like if I should extend more farm or if it's going to be where the campsite is. Like I said in a previous, I think, video, I'm dividing my island into three main themes or parts. One farm one city and one forest. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, I think having different themes on the island will hopefully help make it feel bigger. Although I feel like the island is pretty big in general. There's a lot to fill up. Um, generally, at least for me, I like... Um, I like bigger areas than like micro environments. Yeah. Ah. Come on. Oop. Okay, let's see how that looks on the map. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> Okay, what I'm looking for is to make it look like a natural, um, a natural body of water, not too like square <laughs> or too perfectly circular or, yeah. Okay, and compared to my last island, I definitely want to use the waterways more naturally. I think I cut them off initially, or at least on my last island, but, oh man. You know what, I'm gonna just chop all these trees down. <laughs> I'm gonna chop them all down, cause I 
don't really know where to put them. They're mostly all fruit trees. And at the time of this recording, I've managed to secure a million bells, which is really nice. Um, compared to my last island, I was always hovering under $500,000, which was pretty bad. And I, <laughs> I was really bad at making money. Anywho, I'm not too stressed about having um, enough money or bells. And for the most part, I don't think I'm in a rush to upgrade my home. That's definitely one of the more pricier items playing is paying for the house. So I'm not in a rush to pay that anytime soon. Um, and at the moment, I've been pretty conservative with purchasing inclines and stuff. Like you saw on the farm, I bought my first incline, <laughs> that natural incline, it's, and it's not even the most expensive one. So I'm being very particular about where and when I spend the bells. Um, and tomorrow Daisy May is coming, so I think I'm gonna buy the maximum amount I can carry, which is around like just under 500,000 bells, so I can swing that. And hopefully there's, since it was a large spike last week, I'm hoping for like maybe a small spike or at least not a de decreasing anyways. Okay, let's get rid of this rock. Okay, that's already, <laughs> I've already rocked that rock, so I will. Yeah, don't know what I'm gonna do in this space. What I also found, I'm like taking what I took from my experience on my last island and improve, well, do things differently on this island. Like on my last island, like I mentioned before, I kind of cut off the river, the river exits, and um, I kind of want to try to see if I can use them naturally on this island. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Mm. Totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't really know what to do with really large spaces. Yeah. Oh, I know what was I, I was gonna say. Um, before on my last island, I would use only, I would use a lot of inclines and bridges on cliffs where there's only a limited amount of space you can, I didn't really have a great flow on my island is what I'm trying to say. And I kind of didn't use my inclines or bridges that effectively because there's only one way you can get in and get out. And I'm trying to figure out ways where the flow on the island is different and you can get to different places multiple ways. So that's why I'm kind of extending this second level here onto um, past this river or in between this river. I'm gonna create a waterway across it uh, so I can use this river exit here. But since I built an incline on the other side on the farm, I thought I would use this land somehow and make use of it some way. <laughs> Um, so at least there's something worth kind of, uh, so the incline is, is worth having, you know? Don't know what I'm going to do on this second level yet. Um, I still have two more fruits I need to grow, so, but I think it will be more concentrated towards the front. Uh, part of the farm 
So I'm not too sure where the orchard is going to lead to exactly, but we'll see, I guess. I guess until I get more items, um, usually all of the spaces are determined by kind of the items I have, and I don't want to jump the gun and like, oh, I'll do this because I have this item, or I'll do that because I have that item. I kind of want to collect as much stuff as I can and figure out some ideas that can work with those items. Um, so, and I'm, like I said before, I'm trying to figure out the more, the most seamless way to transition these different themes from one idea to the next. So I'm trying to figure out what could be near an orchard or the only thing I can really think of is continue on the farm on this end. The farm is definitely becoming much bigger than I had anticipated, but yeah. the river mouth now so I can extend the land and then create a waterfall I guess of some sort on this side okay that's as far as it'll go Like it. I really want this island to feel as realistic as possible. I don't really see that many farms <laughs> with second levels, like North American anyways. So this is kind of derailing a little bit. Um, but then again, there's not really waterfalls on, <laughs> on Flat Prairie Farm either. So this is definitely a step away from reality, which is, I guess, how it goes. The thing is, I wish there were more natural ways to create hills. This is probably the closest we're gonna get to quote-unquote hills. <laughs> so, that's just how it's gonna be, I suppose. Try, let's try for a one hour kind of video. I usually tend to make or was aiming to make these videos about a half an hour, but I don't know. Doing missing making studio vlogs that used to be an hour long or just under an hour, I'm kind of missing it so. And terraforming, of course, just takes a long time in general, so, you know, this will be some, hopefully, background noise <laughs> for you, whatever you're doing. Let's round the, uh, oh no, I don't know if I can live with that sharp corner of land there but I might have to live with it. Okay, now that we're extended into this section, let's see if I want to... Oh, I hear a balloon. Oh no, it's over the lake. No. 
This is the pitfalls <laughs> of having a leg. Okay. Question is, do I want to... Hmm. I wonder if I'm gonna make this a secret entrance. that corner all. Like I said, I don't want things super square. I want things a little bit more natural looking. So I might make this a secret kind of workaround of getting to the other side of the island. Oops. Coming closer. Oh my gosh, where is it? Yes, I. Oh no, not my slingshot. I've yet to earn the miles to having the balloon fall into the water. <laughs> A metal can. What is this? Okay, that's cool. I love these real life items. <laughs> I don't know what it is exactly, a metal can. But I'll put it near all this other junk. That's the thing with terraforming, you're just kind of like <laughs> making things up as you go along. I don't know, I, I have no idea what I'm doing, like why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. It's like, okay, so I wanted a natural, to use the river mouth here naturally, so of course, I can't, I can't just have waterfalls just come out of nowhere, they have to come from like, <laughs> A sword, so I guess I'll put like a small pond here, I guess. The waterfalls can't come from nowhere. That's the one thing about this, it's like, where's that, where's the water coming from? How's the water coming from there and that and... I was kind of thinking of having like, oh, it's so loud. Okay, no, I won't. I won't do that. Okay, let's 
see how that looks like on the map. I don't know because I'm in the way. <laughs> Right, that's interesting. Let us put, let's connect the rivers together. Maybe these terraforming videos can be the longer ones and because that just makes sense. <laughs> okay, can I still hop? Oh no, I can't hop on them. It's too far. Okay. Oh, I hate that this is uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I can't stand it square like that. I just can't. I just can't. Okay. <laughs> I'm satisfied now. Yeah, I don't know if you're like that as well, but I just can't stand squared off edges if I can help it. I have to put a tree. Ooh, is this tight? Can I put a tree here? Maybe that's okay. Okay. <gasps> what? But you can't. Oh, I thought you can move. Compromise with that. I wish it was kind of closer, but that's okay. Okay. Let's see what that looks like on the map. Oh, yeah, I'm liking that. That looks pretty good. Now, the question is what goes here? <laughs> what do I fill in this spot? It's so big. Maybe this is where I can put the flower field. Because as you can see, I was trying to do like a flower field situation on the farm. But there's no like great perspective in which you can just see the flowers. Like, there's, yeah. I want like the whole meadow, just flowers field. And I've obviously filled it in. <laughs> with a bunch of trees. And I think this will be like a good cozy, um, like getaway spot here. Maybe I'll put some trees lining this and put like a hammock or something here. Or I was thinking of like a well too. Not too sure yet. And fuchsia, my goodness fuchsia. You are, oh, where did you go? <laughs> she sings a lot in this game. Wherever I go, she's like sand. Okay. So I guess this would be really good to have like a flower field maybe, and maybe a ramp going down. Hmm. 
maybe it should I extend? I don't know. I don't know, man. What to do? Okay. But if I do want a full on flower field, okay, let's go down. Because it's so hard to tell, like. I definitely would have to get rid of the cliffs over here or like trim them. Hmm. Okay, so that's an idea. And then I have to figure out what I'm gonna do here. Maybe I will put camping here, I don't know. Yeah. Oh yes, and I'm getting rid of this um, bridge here so it can extend this part behind resident services and start creating transition into the city theme. So, yeah. Anyways, I think maybe this is a good time to call it. Um, maybe let's get rid of that. And let's close the island designer and do some screenshots, obligatory <laughs> screenshots. Uh, yeah, I'm done. got a new reaction too. I I finally bought the hip reactions. I didn't know about oh this is so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see the different ooh, ooh. too fun. Okay, wait. Aww. No wonder people can make, like, really good, um, thumbnails. Look how picturesque that is. My god. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching another episode of Crossing and Chat. If you really like this video, hit that like button down below. Definitely subscribe for more videos like this. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below your favorite type of music. What have you been listening to while you play Animal Crossing or while doing anything? Um, yeah. I hope you have a very good day and I will talk to you in the next episode. Thank you so much. Bye.